Today's gonna be a little bit different from what we normally talk about. Today we're gonna talk about customizing your motorcycle. And what do you do to it, and all the exciting things that you can do to it, and what all you've done to your bike. You're gonna let us know down here in the comments what you've done to your bike to see what you got to do. And at the very end, we're gonna come up with the idea of why do we spend all this money on our bikes. So let's go check it out and see what there is to do. My 2014 CDO, when I bought it brand new, you know, one of the first things I did on my bike was I changed the windshield. You know, I found something that was a little bit higher up so that way that wind would blow over the top of my helmet and not right in the face. That's one of the next thing. Next thing we did is we found us a really comfortable seat because we knew we were going to be riding a Sturgis, which was about 1,500 miles. So we wanted to make sure we felt good in that seat. So, you know, that's one of the hardest things to do is to find that seat that's going to fit just right so you have that comfy ride all the way there. That's right. Nothing like a uh, monkey butt when you get to wherever you're heading to. Mm. <laughs> you say, replace the windshield twice. <laughs> You know, the other thing is you never can have enough lights on your bike. You know, some of these people go down the road, it looks like they're a billboard. They got so much <laughs> lights going on in the bike. So that's one of the other things you want to think about is what kind of lights do I want to put on my bike? You want to make sure you're seen because if you're not seen, you could get hit. It wasn't until this year that I decided that, hey, I needed some new handlebars. And that can make an ultimate different change in riding your bike. Like in my case, being able to make those turns and stuff, it made a big difference by having handlebars that were actually brought back towards me to where when I made that sharp turn, U-turn and stuff, your arm's not going all the way. You know, you're not trying to stretch out. You're more comfortable to where you can make tighter turns. You're more comfortable in the seat. Great for those longer rides. I got handlebars for my bike also, and I like them a lot better that they're closer to me, like he said, just easier making those turns. You're not all stretched out or set far apart. So I got new handlebars too for my Sportster. You know, another big thing that I did, especially we noticed when we were down in Arkansas, you know, when you drive on those roads at night, there's nothing. There, it's pitch black. The roads are making a lot of curves. I noticed on my stock headlight that I had that when I went to make the turns, I had to slow down to like 10, 15 miles an hour because I couldn't see the road ahead of me. So I ended up going with a true beam by Custom Dynamics, and what that light did was it lit up the whole road for me. So that way I could see, you know, before I get to that turn, I could see the whole turn before I got into it. So, you know, that's another important thing that you can do to your bike, but it's another accessory. That's right, and it all this costs money. Next thing on your bike, you know, everybody does this too, what are we gonna do to the motor? What are we gonna do for performance? You know, you could go all the way up to this bike here. It's got a 131 engine on it. So, you know, if you're gonna go to something like that, you gotta change the exhaust, you gotta put a, uh, you know, do the different stages that you wanna do, a good air cleaner, all the things that you need to do. You may need to do a tuner on the bike to get it where you need it to go. So there's another important things that you could do on your bike to get it to where you want it to be. Another accessory you can put on your bike would be some stretch bags to give you that little extra more room in your bike, more storage, things like that. Also kind of makes the pipes look a little bit better if you want to do something like that. You know, you can do whatever you want to your bike. You can leave it plain Jane and ride it just like you bought it, or you can customize it and go all out and just go crazy with it and you'll have your own specialized bike. And that's what we all want. We want our bike that's our bike. You know, there's a couple other things we can do right here up in front of the bike. You know, one of the things I really like, especially if you've got a 23 or older bike, you could go with digital gauges. I can't believe how nice that is by having the digital gauges. The other thing is, is to have the fairing, the inner fairing, have it color coded to the same as your bike. That always looks really slick and it makes the bike look just so much more nicer. Tam had hers done in her 2014, uh, about a year after she had it. Yeah, Whiskey Amber, it was really nice and it makes a huge difference. You wouldn't think it would, but we'll show you one. This one's got, it's a painted fairing, but it's black. We'll show you one that's got the same color on it. The new 2024s have the new digital screen, so that's pretty cool too. Here's a 2023 uh, that actually has the inner fairing painted the same color. So, that, you know, I think that really classes it up to have it the Makes same it look color. sharp. Yeah, because that extra touch. Now, this is one of the newer ones, the newer style that came out in 2023 that has all the digital gauges. That's also a big plus for the new models if you're looking for something like that. This is a CVO. Let me know the things you've done to your motorcycle. You know, what kind of accessories have you done to get it to what 
customizes it to what you like. You know, we showed some of the things that we liked about our bikes and some of the things that I've done to my bike. Uh, a lot more things I've done. We didn't even talk about all the chrome that you can put on your bike. You know, my first bike, I, did, I, I probably spent $15,000 in just all <laughs> the accessories and a little bit of engine work I had done. But on the bike that I have now, the CVO, the nice thing was everything pretty much came chrome on it. Had a lot of the accessories and things on it. Other than having some work done on my motor today, have, you know, had a bigger cam put in, had the oil pump changed out of the older models. Need to do that on some of the models. Those are the things that I kind of did. But let me know down here in the comments, is it items that you've done to your bike that you're happy with? Or is it items that you spent money on the bike and you felt that it doesn't give you, you know, the feel that you wanted to have your own personal bike? So now we're gonna wrap it up with what I think is why we spend the money. You know, a lot of the wives probably ask that question. Why are you putting so much money into that motorcycle? Just oh. enough on its own, much less having to do all this other stuff. It runs fine just the way it is. So I've been doing this for the last, oh, probably since the first of the year. I've been going around, especially in Daytona, I asked a lot of the guys uh, and girls that had bikes and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? I want to ask you one question. When you were back in high school and you were 16 years old, maybe 16 to 18 years old, what kind of car did you have? Did you have a car that you did a lot of work on it? You know, I had that. I had a 1970 Plymouth Duster. Came out with a six-cylinder. Had baby moon hubcaps on it. Had 78 tires on it. I took that thing and had a three on the tree. I even took all that out. I put a V8 in it. I put a three-speed on the floor. I put bucket seats in it. I jacked it up. I put 50s on the back, 70s on the front, glass packs underneath, pipes coming out the side, had headers on it, and all this work. I did. That's what I'm doing to my motorcycle today. We're really living our younger days of things that we could do back second then. childhood yeah that's what she's calling it <laughs> but it's fixing it up you know she wanted some stuff done on her bike yes you I know, did. she got a new windshield she wanted mirrors that she wanted some chrome mirrors on her bike she wanted you know and there's things a nice seat handlebars so she wanted all this stuff done to her bike too so don't let her think that she's not like i want some of that stuff too so with that that's i had a race car too <laughs> yeah, so she had, she had a 66 Impala, but she didn't have it all fixed up. It was more stock. It had glass packs on it, and it, it, was, it was fast. But, I mean, you didn't really do it. It still had a four-barrel on it from the factory and all that stuff. There wasn't a whole lot to it. So she didn't really soup it up. She thought she did, but she didn't. So that's kind of what my theory is about what we do with our motorcycles. So, you know, when you're talking to that wife, or if you're the wife and you're talking to the husband about getting something put on your bike, go back and say that. Hey, you know, I did all that when I was younger. I didn't really have the money to fix it up like I really wanted to. Now I got a little bit more money. Let me fix my bike up like I want because it's, it's my car, it's my ride, it's my bike. And you want to personalize it. You want to make it your bike. Don't want a bike just like everybody else's bike. We are actually right here at Burt's Black Widow. We want to give a big shout out to them. They let us use the showroom this morning and kind of showed you a little bit of this video here. So they let us do some clips and stuff here. We got a great relationship with them. We appreciate them. And if you're looking for a bike here in this area or you're on the other side over by Clearwater, there's Burt's Barracuda over there. Well, we want to welcome everybody to come down to Burt's Black Widow Harley. We are in Port Charlotte, Florida next to the Twisted Fork. We always got free beer in the back. We always got coffee. Twisted Fork is great food, so we'd love to see you. We always live bands as well. So come on and see us, and thanks to Bob and Tan for having me. So, you know, come in here, check it out. They've got some great salesmen here. they got some great people here. No high pressure. they got a great big selection of bikes yeah, here and over at the other dealership, which we're going to try to get over there next week. We'll see if we get over there. A lot of things to do before Leesburg. And go over there and check all that out. So that will be pretty neat. So, hey, that's where we're going to leave you at. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Let us know what you've done to your bike or what you want to do to your bike, maybe. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. There you go. We're right now in Port Charlotte. If you're still hanging around, we'll be here until uh, Sunday night. And then we're going to be heading up back to Orlando. And then we're getting ready for Leesburg. And Leesburg is just around the corner. Yep, not so far away. Yeah, about a week and a half. There you go. So we'll see you all on the road. Bye.